everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea and today I have another update for the Panners Bingo Project Pan. This is a project that was created by Kana for the Fantastic Ladies, although you do not need to be a Fantastic Lady to join in on this project because Kana always has all of the cards that she created as well as a list of the prompts linked in her videos. So anyone is free to join. I do not have a bingo yet. I do not have the potential for a bingo yet. But Kana said that there are two cards that could potentially have a bingo yet. And I haven't seen anybody get one yet, but the potential is there. So things are like finally starting to heat up a little bit, so to speak. I mean, this isn't a competition or anything, but it's, I mean, even if it's not a really a competition per se, I mean, everybody kind of wants to be the first one to get a bingo. It's not gonna be me, but. <laughs> so I have my five prompts that I was working on. So I will go through those and then I will show you what my card looks like and whether I am rolling in anything new this month. So this first number, first item has been in since the very beginning. It was one of the first numbers that got called. It is B8, which is a favorite beverage and my favorite beverage is coffee. So I have this Wild Botanicals Coffee Hazelnut Lip Balm and my goal is to finish it. I've used it 28 more times this past month. So I went from there to there, which I don't know why it's moving so slowly, but it is. So this is gonna take me such a, such a long time to finish this tiny little lip balm. I've used this a total of 158 times in this project. And it's still got several months to go. So there's that. Next for the square G53, which is least favorite color. And I interpreted that as my least favorite lip color, which is like a nudie, cool kind of light pink. So I have my Smashbox Be Legendary Pretty Social Lipstick. My goal was to finish it and ta-da, it is done. I'm not digging that out because I don't like this color very much, but I used it for the last time today. I used it 30 times this past month for a total of 111 times in this project. I'm so excited. This is the first lipstick I finished in a couple of years. And it's a mini and it took me that long. So that tells me I should probably not buy any more lipsticks. But yay, I have another prompt finished and I have another lip product finished. Like, what is this, my third or fourth one this year? Like, who am I? I don't know. But I like it. So that is done. Next for the prompt 061, it is magical. So I decided to bring in my Face Glaze Beauty eyeshadow in Magic. It is, I don't know if this is technically a multi-chrome, it's at least a duo-chrome. I do, I have a lot of stuff on my eyes today, but I do have it like on the outer portion of my eyes. My goal is 30 uses or pan for this one. Today is the one and only time I've worn it this month. Uh, so that brings me up to eight uses. I am still quite a ways away from both goals, but you all know the story by now. I'm panning like five million eyeshadows, so something's gotta give somewhere. I finished a lipstick, okay? Just leave me alone. <laughs> then for G57, that prompt is metallic. So I brought in my Zoya Nail Polish in Trixie, which is this very nice metallic looking silver, it is what is on my nails today. My goal was five uses. I had three uses on it as of last update and I did use it the two more times. I actually, besides having it on my nails right now, I also have it on my toenails. So that was my two uses. And this one is also rolling out. So we've got two products, goal met or finished for this update. So I'm really excited about that. And then lastly, 063 is something with bulky packaging and I brought in my Glam Light Pie Palette. I mean, the palette itself isn't really bulky, but because of the way I like to store my palettes and the fact that this is like a round palette, 
I feel like I have to keep the box and like let's be honest the the box is part of what makes this palette so cute so I'm doing this no pan left behind style if you saw my latest pan those eyeshadows update you will know that this also got rolled into that project so I'm counting my and I'm I'm also doing no pan left behind for all the palettes that I roll in for that project so the first use on everything in here I'm counting towards this project and then the second use I'll count towards pan those eyeshadows because it was in this project first. I am wearing a couple of the shades today. So far I have reached into this palette three times and I've used the blush once and I've used five shades. So oops, I still have, there's I think there's nine shades and the blush, so there's 10 total pans in here. So I, I only need to use four more shades. So the shades that I have used so far are Mixed Berry, which I have in like my crease today, Pumpkin, Mud Pie, Sweet Potato, which is also like in kind of blended in my inner crease and then like in my transition area, and Peach. So the I have Apple Pie, Nutty Pecan, blueberry and blackberry left to use for next month which I it shouldn't be a problem to do it now I just have to make sure that I do it but this this one will probably be rolling out next month so now for the new numbers every month Kana calls five new numbers and of the five she called this month I have two of them the first number she called that I have is B6, and the prompt for that is Earthy. And the second number I have that she called is 071, which is something with terrible packaging. So for Earthy, I decided I'm going to bring in my Raw Beauty Christie, or one of my Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop Creme Gel Liners. This is in the shade Woodsy. It's the brown, but I mean, brown is very earthy. It's got mushrooms all over it. It's broken because of course it is. It's just a brown. I, I complain about these all the time. I know, I know, you're probably all like, Andrea, shut the hell up, we know, you don't like these. And as I said in my last video that, whatever last video I talked about, Throwback 30, it's not that I think they're bad, like, formula-wise as far as like color payoff and stuff, because like there's a swatch of the brown. It's very, it's very nice. They just break so freaking easily, I cannot stand it. So that is my big gripe with these, not because like the formula is terrible or anything. It's just, I hate how, how easily they break. But anyway, that has nothing to do with this. I just, I need to go on that rant like every single time that I talk about one of these liners. But I'm gonna roll this in for 20 uses and it will probably take me a couple months because when I do use a brown, I'll usually use a brown in my upper waterline if I do like a more orangey or neutrally kind of look. Otherwise, I usually just stick to black. So I don't use brown a ton and I, I don't really use brown on my lower waterline. So this will probably take a couple months to get the 20 uses on, but that's going to be my goal. And then for terrible packaging, I wasn't sure what I was going to do for this. And then I was just kind of like... I know I just rolled out a lip product with that lipstick, but I was kind of like looking at my lip products and I saw this. This is a, I don't even know if they still make these. This is a CoverGirl Melting Pout Gel Liquid Lipstick. This is the shade 110 Evangelical. And the reason this has terrible packaging, I, ha I would say I have like very mild tryptophobia, like it's disgusting, but it doesn't make me want to like pass out or vomit or anything. And if you don't know, tryptophobia is when you have the fear of like all those little clusters of holes. This is a, a lipstick that has like the puff and then I don't even know if it'll focus. And then when you squeeze it, all of the lip <laughs> of the product comes out in like a little cluster of dots and looks really disgusting. So I don't, I definitely don't like that. But here is the shade for that one. And I think I'm gonna do 20 uses on this as well. So 
two items rolling out, two items rolling in. And I, at some point, I'll maybe I'll, I'll just throw up my, uh, my bingo sheet now so you can see. So you can see I have, I almost have three separate bingos, but I'm missing like one number. So in the O column, I need, I'll have to look at it, O63 or something like that. I don't know. I'm missing one in the O column. And then the top corner, I believe it's B14, would actually get me two bingos because I have, well, you know, once I finish prompts because I have all the other three corners, but I also have a diagonal line. But of course, I've said it many times, I'm going to attempt to do blackout bingo for this. So whether I get a bingo soon or not doesn't really matter because I'm planning on filling in my whole card. But that was my update. I was just so excited when I finished that lipstick. I I was trying so, so hard. And then I got sick and I didn't wear makeup for like four days. And I'm like, no, this is going to mean I don't finish it. But I like, I made sure to reapply it a couple of times throughout the month, like a couple times a day, just to make sure that I, I met my goal. And Technically, I probably could have said that it was done yesterday, but I wanted to make sure it was like I got as I got it as flat as I possibly could, and I did it, and it's done. Yay! So that was my update. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you're playing this game and if you are close to bingo, because I have not seen anybody close to bingo yet, but I also have not watched... I know several people have already done their updates, but I haven't watched them yet, so... Maybe somebody did hit a bingo and I don't know about it. But I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're staying safe and sane and healthy. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.